Today we went over the homework and then we did a five question temperature check. It's not graded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask you to try these problems and then pause the, um, the recording so you can do the problems and then you can see if you got the answer right. So the first one is two thirds times four sevenths. So go ahead and pause the, re uh, the recording Go ahead and work it out, and then start it up again. So I'm going to work out this problem, 2 thirds times 4 sevenths. In this case here, you can just go straight across, and 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 7 is 21. And it cannot be simplified because 8 and 21 have no common factors other than 1. Number two, eight ninths times one and two fifths. Pause it, try to work it out. Eight ninths, we're just gonna go ahead and keep this as eight ninths, and we have to change one and two fifths to an improper fraction. So remember, five times one is five, plus two, and we get seven fifths. And then we can go ahead and multiply straight across, and we get 56 over 45, which is 45 goes into 56 once. 45 is the denominator, and 56 minus 45 is 11. So your answer is 1 and 11 45ths. Number 3 is 4 fifths times 1 and 1 fourth. Go ahead and pause it. 4 fifths times five-fourths. Now a couple things you could do. You could go straight across and you would get 20 over 20, which is one. Some people also noticed I could simplify those fours and I would get five over five, which is one. And then we actually had some who noticed, well, I can even do those and just get 1 times 1 and 1 times 1. Either way, your answer is 1. Now number 4, we have 3 and 2 thirds times 1 and a half. So go ahead and pause and then come back. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 thirds. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 halves. Going straight across, we have 33 over 6, and you can divide by a common factor of 3 and get 11 over 2, which gives you 5 and 1 half. Some of you noticed that these 3s could cancel out, and that would take you right down to 11 halves. Your final answer is 5 and a half. And now the last, it's a division, 3 tenths divided by 1 half. Go ahead and pause. And you might remember from last year that you have to change the division sign to a multipl uh, multiplication sign. And then you are going to find the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 10 times 1 is 10 which gives you three-fifths for an answer. Now, we do have a situation where you could divide straight across, and look what happens. Three divided by one is three, and 10 divided by two is five. So this, this actually works, and it works in this case because 3 divided by 1 gives you a whole number, and 10 divided by 2 gives you a whole number. In class, we worked on some problems where it wasn't going to give you a whole number, so this was just, um, it's, a neat, it's a neat trick that works. It's not even a trick, it just, it works when you can, do, when the answers are whole numbers, but the way that we're really going to be looking at these is we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. We don't touch that first fraction, it just comes down, and then we change everything afterward. 
Now this last page was a worksheet. Um, we had word problems and we're going to walk through the first one. So we had Bill made five gallons of fruit punch. If one quarter of the punch was cranberry juice, how much cranberry juice did he use? We talked about of, meaning multiplication. And so we had one quarter times five. A quarter and the five. And then we got five-fourths or one and one-fourth gallons. And then if you look down here... There's one and one fourth. So you're going to just color this in. So number two, a high speed computer printer prints a page in one sixth second. So one page is one sixth. Using this printer, how long would it take to print 30 pages? So one sixth times 30 would give you 30 divided by six, which is five seconds. And that's going to be right here. Okay. So um, some of these are pretty easy. You're going to have to read the directions, read the sentences here, like this one here says how much milk. So make sure you look for the one that has milk. Number eight, trick people up. The, the 14 karat gold, they thought they needed the 14. It's just 14 karat, there's 10 karat, there's 18 karat. You really just want to focus on pure gold, pure gold, four ounces. Number nine, draw a picture. You really need to draw a picture for this. This one actually tricked me a little bit. And number 10 has got more than one step. Uh, number 10, you've got Rachel has a collection of 40 stuffed animals and uh, three-eighths are bears. So just picture here, she's got a nice big box and there's 40 stuffed animals in there. And she has three-eighths are bears she has one-fifth her dogs. And the question is asking the rest are other. So how many other animals does she have? So you've got to do a couple of steps to this. Some multiplication, there's some addition, there's some subtraction. So take your time on number 10. And lastly, your answer will be three words. And you're going to write the letters from the remaining boxes in the spaces. So if if this is left over, you're just, you would write I-T, I-T. It's not, that's not the first answer, but if it was, that's what you would do. Hope this helps. See you soon.